Hey, what's going on? You're watching UIW TV, and this is Small Talk with me, Christian Rios. And I have a very special guest for us today. This is our uh, new professor, uh, Joseph Lopez, PhD from the University of Texas. And uh, you were an adjunct professor here last year, weren't you? Yes, I actually taught um, audio production in the fall and spring. Oh, awesome, awesome. And, and like now that you're a full-time professor here, did they beef up your schedule? Do you have more classes? Yes, I teach uh, four courses now. I teach audio production, video production, uh, and computer literacy. I actually teach uh, two courses of those. Cool, cool. And so what, what would you say is uh, your area of expertise? I guess? Well, I honestly um, do a couple of different things. I know everything from hardware, software, to video production, audio production, and I also do photography. Okay, and uh, I was told that you're, you started a, you're start, kind of starting a new convergent media program here? Correct. Um, the convergent media program is kind of uh, based off the idea of um, the new technologies that have been coming out, uh, like uh, Facebook, MySpace, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the social media, a lot of hardware and software, uh, DJing software, things like that. We're kind of merging them all together. One of the things that uh, I, I know people have been saying or may have think or even me personally is like you look you don't you don't have the stereotypical image that a, a professor here would have you have the mohawk and you you know you're very casual and you know tell, tell, tell me more about that well um, my professor Sandy Stone who I worked with at the University of Texas tended to kind of also have a very casual look and um, this is this is a look I've always had and when I came to UIW um, I definitely got some looks from some students, you know, again, for the mohawk, like you said, and also for uh, the way I did so, for dressing so casual. But with it, uh, a lot of people have kind of learned is that um, I'm very serious about what I do. And um, when, when I lived in Austin, I would go and pitch VCs constantly about, um, you know, different technology ideas I had. And you quickly realize that when people want to put money down on something, it's not how you look, it's how you talk. And um, that's definitely kind of a situation that, that I thrive in. Thank you, Dr. Lopez, for stopping by with us on Small Talk. Coming up next, we have Esmeralda Peña. She's going to be talking to us about her first year at Incarnate Word. So uh, this is your first year here. I was just, why don't you tell us more about how you decided to come to Incarnate Word coming out of high school? Well, I found out about this college on a um, high school college fair. There, I wanted to move away from home to experience the whole college stuff. And um, it was either back home or here at San Antonio, so I decided to come to San Antonio. Okay, okay. And uh, what were your other options like? What what universities were there back where you're from? Where are you from, by the way? From Westaco, Texas. Yes, it's like four hours away from here. Okay, and what was the what was the university that uh, you could have attended there? I could have gone to Pan Am. It's in Edinburgh. It's like 45 minutes away. Okay, okay. Have you gotten involved in any extracurricular activities here at the university yet? Are you still, you know, secluded in your dorm? You haven't met people? Do you have a lot of friends yet? What's going on? Well, I haven't, I'm not in anything right now, but I'm planning to. I just want to get comfortable here first and then get involved with everything else that the school provides. Are, are you living in a, a single dorm, or do you have roommates, or how's that, how's that working? I'm living in a triple room. That means I have two other roommates, and we share a room. I'm staying in Colbert right now. I like it so far. Are your roommates your best friends? Yes. Uh, I get along with them, so that's a good thing. And I, I, really, like, I really like them. Okay, so judging from here, how, how, you've been here a while now. You've got your feet kind of wet. So what do you make of it? Did you make the right decision? Or do you get homesick? You know, do you miss your friends? Because you know, that's always one of the hard things about moving out of the city. You miss your friends, you miss your family. You know, I, I know it can be real tough. Yes, I mean, it was hard. I mean, I miss my family because I always see them every day, but now I don't. But I really like it here because I know if I was back home, I wouldn't be studying and school will be last and here school is my first priority. That's good, that's good. What are you majoring in? Like what do you see yourself doing? What do you think Incarnate Word is going to do for you or like once you graduate? What do you see yourself doing once you, you know, accomplish what you want to accomplish here? Um, I, well, I want to be a nutrition. I want to study food and I mean, I 
might look skinny, but I'm not the healthiest person. And, <laughs> and I mean, I want to know what's good for you and stuff. And I, I want to help like other people to be healthy, healthy as possible. Well, thank you so much, Esmeralda, for stopping by. I wish you the best of luck here at Incarnate Word. Up next on Small Talk, we have Kyle Jenkins, a Com Arts major. Thank you for joining us, Kyle. Thank you. It's great to be here. So uh, you're a Com Arts major? Yes, that's correct. I was actually in CART before this, but I'm really glad I changed to Com Arts and I have a lot more fun. Not to say that CART was fun, I just enjoy this a lot more. You know? So I, I, I keep hearing things like that. I don't know anything about CART, so why don't you just tell me what CART's all about? Um, okay. It's basically all about 3D animation or graphic design. And if you're in either one of those, you have to make sure you're really committed because if you're not, it's going to be really, really stressful. And it was for me. I mean, I tried to balance CART and having a social life. It didn't really work out. And um, I don't know, it was really hard. You have to devote a lot of your time to it. I mean, I remember a couple of days where I would um, get less than two hours of sleep a night. So, so in order to be in CART, you must breathe CART. Yeah, our motto is uh, sleep is for the weak. And um, I thought they were lying. <laughs> they were wrong. They are <laughs> not lying at all. Um, but no, I really had a lot of fun. It's just, it just wasn't for me, and I'm really glad I found this major. It's really fun, and I'm glad I enjoyed it. So. Awesome, awesome. So uh, how long have you been here at Incarnate Word? I'm a junior now. Um, I've been here for three years. I'm hoping to graduate next winter. I'm a little bit behind as all we all. majors. But, you know, hopefully I can catch up before I graduate. Awesome, awesome. So uh, coming out of high school, how did you decide that Incarnate Word was the, the university for you? Like, what, 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 what was the final de determining factor for that, well, there if was there a, was one? There was a couple things. Um, one was I, we tried a couple of bigger, bigger schools, like for you know, like a lot of people, and I really needed hands-on attention, so I, was try to, I tried to find like a smaller school. And then I tried to find programs that dealt with, um, you know, 3D animation, because that's what I wanted to go into. But since there weren't a lot of majors in there, UT was the closest thing. They had just like, like a TV studio. That was about it. But um, I applied to Incarnate Word and applied to UT at uh, Houston. No, I'm sorry, Dallas. And yeah, I decided to pick Incarnate Word. It seemed like a nicer place. And plus, if I picked uh, UT Dallas, I'd be paying rent every month. So. so would you say as a baby that you demanded a lot of attention? <laughs> no. Um, I'm just the easygoing kid. I mean, I'm the oldest in my family. Uh, it's easy for me just to get by. I'm e also easy to please, so. Well, that's totally awesome. So now that you're here in the communication arts department, mm -hmm. you know, what, how, what makes you feel at home? Because you, you, like you said that CART is where you want it to be, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out, and now you're here at communication arts. Can you tell me what, why is that? Like, Well, to be honest, when I got into this major, I didn't know really what it was about or really what to get involved into, and I talked to my new advisor, Hank McDonald. He told me, you know, why don't you try the video production since you are interested in movies and television? So I said, all right. And I got in there, and he's, I'm in the video production class. I'm really enjoying it. We did our first project with a countdown sequence, and I really enjoyed that. I was using the camera, and I was freaking out. It was really cool. It felt like Kid Candy stories. It's the in it. final countdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're, ma you're making movies now, now. Um, mm -hmm. so is that, is that what you foresee yourself doing? And like once you graduate with this degree, do you see yourself maybe in the movie industry or, or what, what, what's, what's, the, what's in the future for Mr. Jenkins? Well, also on campus right now, I'm also doing a, a part of the radio show. I'm co-hosting with DJ Logio and um, I'm DJ KJ, so. But, um, for the future, I want to get involved with movies or television. I think for what I want to get involved with right now is special effects. I really, I think it'd be a really cool job to have. I, I mean, why not, right? I have heard of DJ Logio. He's he's very excellent. He's he's wonderful. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I'm really glad he let me on the show. I mean, just it's really cool to be a part of the radio you're, system you're, too. You're a very lucky student. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I tried and I, it just it didn't happen. Anyway, well, thank you for stopping by. I mean, I appreciate no everything. No problem. It's great to be here. Thank you for tuning in to Small Talk. We'll see you next time.